The grace and love of our Lord and Savior be with us always. Amen. The Word of God we want to consider today is, again, the Gospel reading for this past Sunday, the fourth Sunday after the Epiphany, the wise men coming to worship the infant Jesus. We're looking at Mark chapter 1, verses 21 to 28, where Mark was inspired to write. They, Jesus and his disciples went to Capernaum, and when the Sabbath came, Jesus went into the synagogue and began to teach. The people were amazed at his teaching because he taught them as one who had authority, not as the teachers of the law. Just then a man in their synagogue who was possessed by an evil spirit cried out, What do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Be quiet, said Jesus sternly. Come out of him. The evil spirit shook the man violently and came out of him with a shriek. The people were all so amazed that they asked each other, What is this? A new teaching and with authority? He even gives orders to evil spirits and they obey him. News about him spread quickly over the whole region of Galilee. My dear friends in Christ, we saw yesterday how the Holy One of God amazes us with his message. And he has such an amazing, wonderful message to share with us because Jesus not only showed the people their sins and what they deserve because of their sins, he also pointed them to God's grace and love and the promises of God and the forgiveness of sins and that through faith in the promises of God, we can look forward to eternal life in heaven. You can kind of imagine the people of Capernaum when Jesus was preaching in the synagogue that day saying, wow, this is a message we really need to hear. You can also imagine them clinging to every single word that Jesus spoke, just longing for more. And now when you think about them longing for the message then, how often are we as attentive when we have the opportunity to hear God's word? Can we, for example, come to church Sunday after Sunday or, or even listen to videos and do it just out of habit and have the message proclaimed to us? Well, we can go to church, for example, because, well, when we were growing up, mom and dad made us go had us go, said we had to, and maybe we were just in that routine. And can church become such a routine that, that during the scripture readings, the hymns and the prayers and the sermon, what can very easily happen as we're going through all of those things is that we can start daydreaming instead of clinging to every word of scripture but daydreaming, thinking about our Sunday dinner, about the upcoming Super Bowl or the Pro Bowl or some other sporting event or our plans for the day or for the week. When God's word is presented to us, we'll want to get absolutely everything that we can from the word of God. It really is good to the last drop. Remember what Folgers Coffee used to say, good to the last drop, and surely we'll want to get every last drop. We never know when that word is going to say something that's especially applicable to us in our Christian lives, to give us the strength and the encouragement that we really need at the time. Of course, it's always great to hear that God loves us and wants us with him forever in heaven. In our reading, it shows us that. The Holy One of God, he speaks with authority because he assures us of heaven through faith in him. Of the many, many books that are published each year, it might surprise you to know that less than 1% of those books 
survive for seven years. The Bible, however, has kept people's interest for over centuries and is cherished be by millions of people because it is more than worth reading. The authority of that book, the reality of that book, it is at home in a child's nursery and in the philosopher's study. Few people would ever think about reading a novel 10 times over, yet people study the Bible for a lifetime and never cease to find it fresh and find fresh and precious truths in God's word. And why is it that way? Because it's Jesus himself speaking to us. He is the word which became flesh and made his dwelling among us. And in his word, he declares himself to be God, to be our savior from sin. The Holy One of God speaks with authority. He tells us what we sinners truly deserve because of our sin. He tells us what we truly need to hear. And especially that's about God's grace and love and the certainty of heaven through faith in Jesus. Amen. Let's pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, thank you for sending your Son with his amazing message, which not only shows us our sin and what we deserve because of our sin, but also shows us your love and forgiveness and your desire to have us live with you forever in heaven. Build up and strengthen our faith so we always want to hear and be blessed by Jesus' amazing teaching. We pray in his name. Amen. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen.